This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Hello, I'm here with Sarah Suda and Callie Moore, and we are continuing to blind rank beasts. Basically, we're taking turns blind ranking a set of animals based on a random category, and the blind ranker will open the envelopes one by one, rank the animal without knowing what the next animals will be. The other two players are there to provide support and information. And it is currently my turn. The most green! Ah! Most green? <laughs> like, man. like the most eco-friendly or no, the most it, whoa, color? Whoa, could green. be. I'm gonna go with color, because yeah. I'm in charge. Okay, yeah. color yeah. it is. And yeah. if Kermit's in there, I'm yeah. gonna be really mad. <laughs> yeah. Do you consider yourself a green authority since no, the name, definitely not. name reason? No, I don't think much about it, if we're being honest. Okay. I had a Mr. Blue growing up as a teacher. Okay. There were, there were the Browns were also in the neighborhood. So whoa. it just seemed like that's how things went. Okay. Yeah. Wild, yeah. You There's live certain in some colors, sort of crayon neighborhood. <laughs> certain colors that you don't get that sure. are sort of like big yeah. choices for a last Chartreuse. name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chartreuse, I could see. The way that this works is I'm gonna now gonna open one yeah. of these truly delightful, beautiful, paper crafted chartreuse envelopes. Everything oh gosh, comes big on out. Envelope. Big envelope. Ooh, we have a leaf sheep sea slug. <gasps> Do you guys know leaf sheep? Oh yes. Yeah. They're really They're good. very cute. Do they have chlorophyll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, why they that's why they're stolen. green. They yeah. stole the chlorophyll. Yeah. Kidnapped. This is bizarre beasts. Yep. None of these are gonna be plants. Is this as close as we're yeah, gonna get to I a plant? Think so. If there's a plant in here, I'm gonna be mad. Because <laughs> they're all very green. Real curveball. But this for is us. a super they get green really green. Character. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love them. Oh my god, look how green they are. Oh, it's so cute. Yes. They even got it on a leaf, uh, so the background's green. Okay. I'm not gonna read this name. <laughs> Sacaglossin, right? No, Sacaglossin, nope. No, Co okay. Coast, 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 oh. Size, up to about seven to eight millimeters long. So, so they might be very green, but there's not a lot of it. Wow, yeah. so tiny. So Location, tiny. Eastern India and Western Pacific Oceans. Diet, a member of the order Sacaglossa, which means sap sucking. The leaf sheep gets its nourishment by sucking up goo from a type of algae known as Avrainvillea. <laughs> Fun fact, they have leaf-like appendages all over their bodies, but also sheep-like eyes and horns, known as rhinophores. So they, they have yeah. these leaves to yeah. do photosynthesis yeah. uh -huh. so that they can have more yeah. uh -huh. sugars. Yeah, energy and everything. Yeah, it's so good. They're so, so they fun. Convergently they evolved eat leaves. Stuff and hmm? then they do they also yeah, eat they stuff eat, they and then eat. also have the chlorophyll that makes extra? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they're I think they are also digesting the the algae that they're eating, mm -hmm. but they are also stealing uh, klep kleptoplastic something I don't like remember. that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then they're putting it into those little things to get even more energy. Yeah. It's great. They can I mean, they're so the convergently evolved leaves. I'm trying to think of anything. Shape. I can't. They're they're like what's green? more green than that? I know. Nothing. They, I'm so going to go big. Risk go go real big. Oh, first, but I'm first going one, one first. Oh, yeah. That's a go big. Go yes. big. Bold choice. All right. And we're doing it. I love we're it. We're doing it. Yes. Oh, and yes. Then, and then, then the other envelope. Secret envelope. When a leaf sheep sucks chloroplasts from the algae, it can actually store the chloroplasts in its own tissue in a process called kleptoplasty. Yeah! <laughs> nice job! <laughs> <laughs> we did it. This gives the leaf sheep its green hue. It also means leaf sheep can photosynthesize. So just like plants, they can use sunlight for energy. Uh, it doesn't get much more green than that. Oh, that's, that's a good green. sign. That's a good sign. That's, that's pretty green. I feel good about it. Beast Second number envelope. two. Oh my gosh. I love these Paper envelopes. Paper clips they are even so green good. too. Really oh, good. Green. The Malaysian giant leaf insect. Ooh. Oh. Leaf bug. So this yeah. one like convergently evolved leaves to yeah. do leaf job. Yeah. This one convergently evolved leaf to be leaf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To hide. To hide. Hiding yes. leaf bugs. Yes. Uh, it feels yeah. a little bit cheating that they're gonna show me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty green. green. Yeah. Well, pretty green. There's a lot of leaf they're bugs that aren't green. very green. Yeah. yeah they got like yeah. browns. Yeah. And totally. stuff. What do we got here? Malaysian giant leaf insect can grow to over 100 millimeters. That's a tenth of a meter. Yeah. Uh, that's that's ten centimeters. <laughs> it would it be works. how that would normally be said. I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> was like a half a meter. Wait, where did we? Mm, we jumped something. <laughs> from, from, from Southeast Asia, diets of our plants and leaves. 
but unrelated to the body style. <laughs> their appearance helps them to camouflage in their environment, and they even sway in the wind to more closely resemble leaves. They're really good. They're That's really, really good. good. They make me That's... seasick. So I feel them. good. This is not as uh-huh. this is not as green as the leaf sheep sea slug. I mean, that's See, I all think, green. Yeah. It's it, all green, but it's not yeah. like it's not like neon green. Yeah, like violently. if you wore a yeah. shirt this color, yeah. people would be like, "Nice green shirt." If you wore a sheep sheep this shirt, <laughs> uh huh, yep. That uh-huh. people would would like yeah. stop you yeah. in the street yeah. and be like, "You can't do that. <laughs> that's too green." <laughs> that's too green. <laughs> You're going to disappear on our green screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, all of these guys would not do well yeah. on the green screen. That's pretty green. It is pretty green. Is pretty oh, green. man. Are we just going to each one? We're just going to go one down. I'm going to go three in the assumption okay. that if we've got two really green animals, we're yeah. going to have some pretty green. Yeah. These are all intensely up. green guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're good. This is they're hilarious. Really fun. Normally a thing that would be done in post, but no, practical effects. Practical effects. That's right. That's, that's we right. heard from James Cameron that that's the way to do it. Is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no all, the, do that at all. all those yeah. Avatar movies, yeah, they're like, like they, they make those in a computer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard from the people who made Toy Story that practical effects. <laughs> yeah, this would have been so much easier for us. <laughs> uh, we got a bonus fact. Giant Malaysian leaf insects are actually so good at camouflaging that they have been known to eat each other. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Little nibbles. When it's in like captivity, it. it's not recommended to have too many in close proximity due to the cannibalism potential. One reason they may not take the crown for greenest, technically these insects start brown. Oh. But within a week after hatching, they turn green. A oh, week. Man. Yeah. I mean, By a week. That's, yeah. That's most of it's the It's still time. mostly green, yeah. I love that, though. Yeah. That's totally. interesting. Accidentally yeah. eat each other. What a problem to have. Yeah. Never yeah. happened to me. No, totally. <laughs> yeah. Never happened to me. I promise. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> We'll try not to dress up like a burrito. (laughs) (laughs) The camouflage was really good. People camouflaging themselves at Taco del Sol, and it's just like, I can't help myself. I don't know what is the food and what's not. If you're going to be dressed like a burrito, you can't be in the burrito restaurant. Exactly. All right. Oh, my gosh. What's the next one? What's the... What is it? What is it? The American green tree frog. I knew there was going to be a tree frog. They're very green. They are very green. I've seen them in the wild, I believe. Isn't that Kermit? Isn't Kermit supposed to be a green tree frog? Oh, I don't know. He definitely lives in a swamp. Oh, that's very green. He's very green. <laughs> that's it's almost as green as the leaf. I know. Yeah. But not yeah, quite, yeah, I know. says I, the person yeah, who wants exactly. the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Get to defend your choices. That's green. 32 to 64 millimeters long. That's suspiciously a multiple of 32, 64. <laughs> it makes me feel like it might be exactly right. Um, throughout the southeastern United States, typically hanging out near bodies of water, bugs sure. like beetles and crickets are their main diet, also other small invertebrates. Mm-hmm. Fun fact, females can filter out the sounds of males that aren't in their species by inflating their lungs, thus compressing their eardrums and becoming less able to hear croaks in a frequency range that their love interests don't use. What? I wish I could tune people That's out like right. that. right. <laughs> Just all men. <laughs> Or just crying just, baby on the yeah. plane, just uh-huh. zoom. Yeah. I can't just hear like, those frequencies. <laughs> just filling up your lungs until you can't hear anymore. Oh man. Like a yeah. frog. Yeah. That's who figured that out? I know. How does a that scientist is, know? I don't know. Yeah. That. That's a good yeah. one. I'm really bad. Do they look like little inflate? Do they, like, do they look inflated mm-hmm. when they and then they put them in an MRI. What do they do? How do they know, know. that their eardrums are being affected? <laughs> I'm hoping desperately. Uh-huh. That we've got some not so oh, green man. friends coming oh, along because that's definitely greener than <laughs> the leaf insect. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. Oh man, we're oh no, this is serious. This is, we're doing it. No, we're really seger- serious All right. here. That's okay, a fun fact. And fun also, fact. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. is it going to tell us that they're like for the first two years of their life they're purple? <laughs> yeah. You probably most often encounter pictures of the brightest American green tree frogs, oh. but they can also be almost yellowish. God. Oh. They got I did not know that. Or <laughs> a duller that. shade of green. Most have white or yellow stripe, and some have yellow freckles. Oh, there you go. That's very cute. That's pretty cute. cute. Well, I don't yeah. feel great about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's still, I think, I don't I think know. it's still I pretty. Mean, You're going to give me some there. browns, some blues. Yeah, totally. Some it's more just some yellow, yellow guys. Yeah. Ah, very green. Somewhere. 
green yeah. stuff. Yeah. If you want to feel as hidden on the internet as a giant Malaysian leaf insect in a big pile of leaves, you need to hear about today's episode sponsor, Surfshark. Using a VPN is like wearing pants. All of the important stuff stays private and secure when you step a foot outside. A virtual private network covers your whole online activity. Once your device connects to the internet, all the information is encrypted. That way, your online activity is hidden from snoopers and trackers. It allows you to virtually travel the world, browse privately by encrypting your internet activity, blocking ads and malware that get in your way, and more. And there's no need to count the devices with Surfshark. You can set up one account and use it on unlimited devices. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can take your time to try out the service and experience Surfshark's user-friendly privacy and security solutions. Go to surfshark.com beasts or use code beasts at checkout to get four extra months of Surfshark VPN. Second to last envelope. Yeah. The green broad bill. No way this is that green bird. Oh, is it iridescent? Oh, is it like an iridescent green? That yeah, is it fun? is it a structural color? Because mm. I don't count that. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I that's, mean birds. It have to be pigments for like it to be bird, real green. Birds Bark being beetles. blue and green, like that's a lot of time. Yeah. That is structural. Of of structural. Yeah. Ooh, he looks structurally oh, green. That is cute. a green bird. He's a cute yeah. guy. He's so cute. That is a cute guy. I don't have my little thing. I miss. I lost a piece. Size around 13 to 28 centimeters tall. If that was 26, I would have been suspicious. <laughs> the multiples, it's, The man. islands of Southeast Asia. It eats fruit. Uh, like figs and some small invertebrates. Everybody eats some small invertebrates, sure. let's be honest. Yeah, you can't not. Even leaf bugs. <laughs> uh, or large invertebrates. I mean, I mean, statistically, in spices and all sorts of stuff, oh, you're yeah. getting some oh, small yeah. invertebrates. Well, uh, red food coloring. Oh, sure, oh, yeah. Just ground yeah, up. Like coconut. Beetles. Yeah. Yeah. Beetle yeah. stuff. Yeah. Also, Scale lots of, lots of uh, makeup sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's that one guy in the cave who eats 100,000 spiders a year that averages out that everybody right. eats one. Yeah. Fun fact, one of their unique features is a jaw that allows them to swallow whole fruits, pit included. Ooh. Whoa! And then they have very satisfying poops. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably eating those. Uh, is it South America? Gosh, that's so... like weird, wild uh, South avocados. East Asia. Oh, okay, so different stuff. Yeah, oh, cool. I'm upset because this is a very green. It's bird. so green. It's very it's green. So Real green. cute. Like, like the thing is that most birds aren't very aren't like that green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but that feels one is like I wonder what they look like before they get to that green though. Like birds look weird when they're well, little. Well, for sure, yeah. <laughs> the juveniles are always, <laughs> always different colors. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta hide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we're, gonna, we're like, banking on that. Yeah. Brownish. Oh my gosh, you doing mm -hmm. four or five? I think I'm to do four okay. because it's very green. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what, what is gonna happen with this last one? <laughs> Desperately hoping yeah. Yeah. for uh -huh. A, not a very green creature. These are beautifully <laughs> green creatures. Now yeah, I am becoming are... sort of an advocate for green. Yeah. I've never like loved green as a color. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. like a rebellion thing. Mm, yeah. yeah. Males of the green broadbill are more prominently green of the green broadbills, while females are a duller green color. Sure. So that's like that's only bird. half green. That's classic bird stuff. It is. Yeah. Their appearance is helpful for camouflage in the forest. Sure. One of the one potential concern about them being the greenest, they are sometimes <gasps> referred to as the lesser green broadbill. Although that is likely in reference to size, not color. <laughs> That's really oh. splitting hairs there. Yeah. <laughs> less, it's less green. I said so. That's yeah, why it's fourth. exactly. Yeah, you did it. We got it. Oh, I still feel yeah. good about the leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Is, this was beautiful. the right call. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're they're literally photosynthesizing. Yeah. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This this one, right? Last one. We have Jackson's do? chameleon. Oh. Oh. Knows. Jackson, greenest sun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't okay. have green in the name. No. Uh, yeah. This this green. has green. green. Yeah. This uh -huh. has leaf. Uh -huh. This has green. Yeah, this that leaf. is leaf. This has leaf. Yeah. So, so this is I the think, least green just I, by the name. Yeah. I think yeah. you got it. Just, yeah. let's see. I think it'd be all types oh, of colors. Oh, that's a huge win for me. Yeah, yeah. I think you definitely, did it, man. Definitely, you did it. Definitely yeah. five. Yeah. yeah, That's, does he change color? He's wild looking. Look at those oh, horns. Yeah. Oh, so oh, good. Yeah, it's like yeah. a triceratops yeah. Magic chameleon. school bus style. Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is the magic school bus one. Up to 25 to 30 centimeters long, the Jacks, the tri 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 Triocerus jacksonii. Originated in Kenya, but in 1972, a pet shop owner imported 36 of them to Hawaii, where they had no predators, and now they have uh -oh. a significant presence there as well. Mm. Diet, mostly insects. What else? 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> Not on the card. Tiny birds. They don't want you to know. Tiny oh. lizards. Other chameleons. Other <laughs> Blood. Everything. <laughs> Snickers. Every now and again. <laughs> Everybody needs Snickers. Every now and again. A fun fact, the males have three horns on the top of their heads, which are used to fight for territory. So fun. We have no choice, but I think that it's, it's the right doing. spot. Yes. Jackson's chameleon. Yeah. Yeah. A good green friend. Yay. But maybe I'm about to find out that actually it's the greenest of all things <laughs> oh no. oh that's no. ever existed. I just oh, can't man. imagine. They're, they're ruining Hawaii's habitat. They can't be the greenest. That's, they that's can't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Even if you think of <laughs> Yep. Jackson's chameleons are born brown but become li- bright green before they're halfway through their first year of life. As chameleons are known to do, Jackson's change color to hide from predators and attract mates. In Hawaii, where they have fewer predators and therefore need to camouflage themselves less, mates turn a brighter shade of yellow-green when trying to attract a mate compared to males in Kenya. Huh, They're cool. already at it. Yeah. Already becoming a new species. Already Wild. A new species. That's cool. All the other species in Hawaii need to become new species to eat them. Or just make them into burritos. Tasty chameleon burritos. Chameleon burritos. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. burritos? Chameleon burritos? Yeah. yeah. How much yeah. you get yeah. off of a chameleon? What, like three grams of meat? And me, personally? <laughs> like, just... Just I'm not like the best chameleon butcher. Whole different challenge. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Really How do I maximize of, yeah. my chameleon? I think, I think it's down to like the skill of the individual. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Probably me personally. But I guess I would lot. use a lot of them. Yeah. I don't know that I would butcher the chameleon. I think I probably would cook it whole like a chicken and then... On a stick. Uh, On a stick, yeah. A chameleon kebab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chameleon kebab. (laughs) Yeah, probably the inside would not be good. Doesn't say what the... What do they eat? Bugs. Mostly insects. Yeah. And other things. And Snickers. And other things. (laughs) The most endangered uh, Hawaiian snails and Uh small Mm -hmm. invertebrates. Yes. Of course. Probably. (laughs) They're the tastiest. (laughs) They're the rarest. And that's it for this round. How did I do? Thank you for watching. You can make sure to check out the Bizarre Beast Pin Club. I'm wearing a vegetarian spider on me right now. Also, please tell us in the comments all of the ways I messed up. I like when people are mean to me. That's why I still do this job. See you next time.